For the following exercise, use a graphic utility to determine whether each function is one-to-one. -one. All right, so first thing is take out that handy-dandy calculator and plug in now that function right here into the calculator, all right? And what you're gonna see is something like this, right? You see something like that-ish, right? Pretty steep line, okay? Where, you know, whatever it goes through one, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of roughing it out, okay? So what we now realize is we can apply then the vertical line test to see if this function is one to one. What I mean by that is the vertical line test, you simply draw some imaginary, well, it's not so imaginary if I'm drawing it, but you draw some lines, some vertical lines, and you see whether those vertical lines intersect the graph at only one spot. Each line, each vertical line is intersecting it at one unique spot, or if those vertical lines are intersecting the graph at more than one spot, okay? If the vertical lines only intersect your function in one spot, right? So this vertical line only intersected it at that spot. And this vertical line only intersected it at that spot. Uh, then what that tells us is that the function that we drew in red is a one-to-one -one function. All right. So the answer here is yes. Imagine I had a different function. Let's change the color here a little bit. Imagine I had a function that kind of looked like this. All right. And now when I draw all those vertical lines, those vertical lines, take a look over here, those vertical lines intersect now, this one vertical line intersects two spots, okay? I now say the function in green does not represent a one-to-one -one function. And because this x value, call it x is equal to three, it now has two y values. It has a y value here of about, you know, two and a half, whatever, making it up. And this one has a y value now of negative two and a half. That's not one to one. That's like one to two, right? Because that x value has now two unique y values instead of one unique y value, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Now, it's very, very straightforward, right? As soon, the, uh, knowing what to do is the hard part, but um, you know, figuring that out isn't bad. So now what you're gonna do is do the second one, right? Draw your graph. Make sure your screen, you know, go down to like negative 30 on the Y. So you might be able to see it. So it's going to look something like this. And it's going to intersect there at about negative 27. Okay, negative 27. And again, you're going to draw those vertical lines. But what do you even notice already? Right? What do you notice? Those vertical lines are only going to intersect the graph in one unique spot. So uh, yes, it is a one-to-one -one function. All right. That's it. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Hit the like button and maybe even tell some of your classmates. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.